Debbie from Project 39 and welcome to the last Smash That Small Paper Pad of 2021. Each month we are using a paper pad and trying to use it all up. Now we may not use it up in that month, but we might carry it over to the next month. This month I had, I had just purchased this paper pad just, just a month or two ago. And I know the intent is to use your stash, but this was perfect for uh, an idea I had of making a mini album filled with photos from some of my adventures in 2021. Uh, as you may know, my husband and I sold everything and we live and travel in our RV. I have a cute little studio, and by the way, I will do a studio tour coming up this year um, and show you what my craft space looks like in my little trailer. So anyhow, I use this paper rose collection called Mountain Trek. Originally when I purchased it, I was going to team it up with these boots that I had made in um, uh, embellishments on the 11th collab a couple of months ago and I just thought this would be cool I can finally use these embellishments well I ended up not using it because it came with this paper that had these um, boot prints on it and I thought you know what that that does the trick it probably works better than what I was thinking so I made a small little folio let me show you what I made and the bonus is this has some photographs in it. Usually when I'm showing mini albums, I'm showing you the beautiful papers. In this case, uh, I actually put photos in because it's going to sit in our RV. So I just took some of the elements. I did not purchase anything additional besides that paper pad. I didn't purchase any of the embellishment packs or tags or anything. I just used what was in that six by six paper pad. And there was a page of um, different motifs. So I cut out the fox, these boots, and two of the backpacks. And these uh, footprints were on another page, which you'll see in just a second. I love this watercolor look. And so I kept that for the front cover. So obviously it unties and it takes you to this page. So in retrospect, I should have used another one of the gorgeous papers because, I mean, I like the moons, but I, I really should have just covered that with a photo. And I still can. If I had another photo, I could cover it here, but it's okay the way it is. Again, I cut some of the elements out of that cut apart sheet, the tent and some of the trees. And here is that paper with the footprints. There's my husband hiking. He is not actually looking down at his phone. He's got a Garmin tracker thinger. It tells us when we're on the right um, trail. Sometimes we have been known to get off the trail and then he'll take a look at it and say, whoops, we're going the wrong way and we have to backtrack. But anyhow, I believe that was in the woods in New Hampshire. I'm pretty sure. Or no, no. Yeah, that was New Hampshire. That was along the presidential reign, if any one of you are from that area. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this is in the same area. This is Poncherry. Um, it's a uh, rails trails path, so we could have taken our bikes, but we went and hiked it. And we actually happened to hike it on a rainy day, so we've got our rain gear. Man, that was the wettest I've gotten all year. I did use this area down below to um, journal a little bit. And um, so I guess I should have showed you what the paper looked like before I put the photos. But to me, the whole reason of making these is to put photos on. And you can see how the paper goes along with the photos. It doesn't match, but it goes along with. I mean, there's gray tones in here and of course with the sky there. And then I used a piece of gray paper to journal on. The good thing about that is if you have awful handwriting, you can write it. And if you don't like it, throw it out and do it on another piece of paper. So anyhow, that is the first page of my little folio. All right. And then this will open up like this to take you again to some beautiful paper. Love this watercolor look. Um, let me take you inside here before I show you this side. So this just opens up. There's a little magnet holding it together. And then this will come up. 
um, Dome Rock. This was again in New Hampshire. This was the same paper here. I just, um, before I adhered it to the page, I took a little knife and cut out that just so I could stick the photo in underneath that mountain paper. And then again, I journaled a little bit here and it's just a picture of the presidential reign in New Hampshire. It just was such a beautiful day, such a beautiful place. We did not only hike in New Hampshire, we were out east this year. Uh, just happens that's when I used the camera. This, although was in Vermont, this was on the way to the Appalachian Trail near Bennington, Vermont. This part of the trail was called Crack Between the Rocks. And obviously, Hubby is between the rocks. Huge, huge rocks. Um, that was also near Bennington and a great campsite called uh, Greenwood Lodge and Campsites. This was a pond that had beavers on it, and we were enjoying watching the beavers. It was a lot of fun. So that was put on some black cardstock, and now this will open up like this. This was in New York State, uh, Skudak Island in New York State. I don't know if you can see it, but it is ferns upon ferns upon ferns. And I cut out some of the uh, things from the cut apart sheet just to add to this. And then uh, this opens up like that. This would be a good spot for journaling if I had more to journal. These are friends that we met along the way. Someday ask me about the dogs meeting the porcupines. But anyhow, this was a maple farm in Vermont where we had a tour. It's called Glaston View Maple Farm. Look it up. If you're ever in Vermont, go check it out. If you want to get a Christmas present for you or someone else, they do online shipping and they have all sorts of great flavors of maple syrup. What I loved about this is the colors went really well with this page. I love having these little prints and how it makes a good background for your photos. Yeah, you know, it's it's boots and lanterns and backpacks, but doesn't the color look fabulous with this? So anyhow, there's that. And the same with this. This would be See, here's what the paper looks like without a photo on it. And it's just very muted, but again, it shows you how you can take the photos and make them center stage when you're making your mini albums or your folios. I will put that little thing there. I cut this out um, square out of some uh, scrap card stock, and that was, of course, the same tree print, a lantern, a thermos, and a cup. And I just cut a circle out of one of these sheets. And so this will open like this, and this just has a little magnet keeping it closed. I could have done the same kind of library style closure as that, but I was trying to keep it pretty flat. So this will open up, and you'll notice that I like to put pockets in the back of my mini albums, because that way you can take all your leftover photos and put them in. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this was a grouse that was in uh, Vermont that was very friendly. It came to greet you when you when you went. There's one of the beavers from the beaver pond. Um, you can't see, but in the water are thousands of little tadpoles. And we just watched them grow up because we were there in Vermont for a month. That again was at the Woodford, I'm sorry, Greenwood Lodge and campsites. Oh, here's just a picture of the uh, sign that was LT to AT, that's Long Trail to the Appalachian Trail. And um, we hiked some of the AT. We, did, we of course, didn't do the whole AT. Um, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't know. I guess it was on a mushroom kick when I took this picture. I was trying for the life of me to try to remember where these waterfalls were. I believe they were from New Jersey, but I didn't put it on the back. I will have to go look it up on my phone and see if that was New Jersey. There's the hub sitting in front of the campfire in a great site in our Greenwood campground. We backed our beautiful 
RV into that site, put up our little clamshell because it was a little buggy when we got there. But after the first day, the bug sort of dissipated and we didn't need to sit in there anymore. But um, he was getting this fire started because he was cooking dinner on the fire that night. So that is, well, let me show you the rest of this. Uh, we'll put the pictures in later. There is the back of my little folio. I will be doing a tutorial on this in the upcoming weeks. I don't have it done now. I just was more in the creative mood as opposed to the measuring and recording mood. So, um, so there's that. So anyhow, thank you for watching all of my Smash That Small Paper Pads videos. I did work through a lot of small paper pads. Even though I purchased more, they still all fit in a uh, 13 by 13 by 4 inch iris container. So I am still on track to smashing my small paper pads. I was hoping I'd smash them by 2021, but now it looks like 2022. Don't forget to check out all of the other collaborators and see what they did to smash their small paper pad. And have a fabulous 2022. Have a great day.